And the rules do vary by state. I believe we're in the clear. That's we didn't check the rules, we rolled up. I feel like that's crossing a line. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we sold everything for a life of freedom and full-time travel. Follow our journey for tips, and we also share our mistakes. And we make plenty of them. Yes, we do. And if you're brand new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right, and also, don't forget to stay until the end, because we always have bloopers. <laughs> A few too many sometimes. Yeah. Thanks to our friends at Allstays, you can quickly and easily access over 37,000 camping and overnight RV parking locations. Use our link in the descriptions to get the Allstays app on your iPhone or Allstays Pro on your desktop. You are the sunrise waking my day. You are the moonlight shining my way This is where I call home You are the fire warming my night With you I'll stay till the morning light This is where I call home This is where I call home Now here's another spot for free overnight boondocking. Just a quick overnight stop. Well, some people might say it's dry docking, not boondocking. Boondocking's out in the boonies. Right, right? definitely not camping. Rest stops. Have you ever stopped at a rest stop overnight? This is actually like our second one that we've ever stayed at, and it was not planned. And of your five years of RVing, two and, two and a half, almost three for me. Right, well, the only two together that we've done. The only I've, two we've done together. I've done it before. I don't remember how many times, but it's not typically what you would think of a place you'd want to stop at. Uh, and we'll talk about the pros and cons as well. And the rules do vary by state. Uh, we know that Florida does not allow overnight RV right. parking, uh, but many other states do. This is Georgia. I believe we're in the clear. We this is Georgia. We didn't check the rules. We rolled up in here. Yeah, there was all these RVs with slides out. And we figure, well, this is a place to stop. Yeah. And I don't like to drive at night. And it was yeah. already like it was really, dark. It was dark. Well, we're at the Welcome Center uh, rest stop. At the state line between Georgia and South Carolina going south. Yeah, and this is like one of the nicest rest stops we've ever been at. He's super impressed with this rest stop. He keeps talking about it. Like, uh, it yeah. doesn't take much to impress Yeah, him. we're gonna show you some drone footage <laughs> of this place. I mean, they put millions of dollars into it. And I wish every state would do this. And this is a completely unplanned stopover. Yeah, it was. We actually had plans to harvest host last night. It didn't right. work out for a various amount of reasons. So we had to find a place in the dark last night and this yeah. happened to be the perfect spot. It was nice and quiet last night, actually. It really was for a rest stop. You generally think of it being loud, uh, lots of trucks pulling through uh, throughout the night and this was actually really quiet. Uh, very surprising, even generators overnight. Right. You know, or trucks idling. Yep. That was not bad. But we also haven't night. been able to figure out is it because this is the first time we've been in a rest stop in this RV and it's a little bit more insulated than our last one. That's true. So That's true. that could be a factor playing into the quiet, totally. the peacefulness. <laughs> so grand design, you got a thumbs up on that one. Absolutely. <laughs> So what are the benefits to stopping overnight at a rest stop? Well, you can hear right now there's lots of grassy areas to walk your pets. Yeah, it's easy on, easy off, easy pull throughs. It's just really convenient. It's not like if you stop somewhere else and you have to find a place to turn around and navigate when you're, you know, especially if you have a large RV like we do. Right, like a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel, there's a lot of maneuvering to try to, yes. to get into those places. Right, I and even scoped those out before, before exactly. hand, yeah. Yeah, one of the other cool things about this particular rest stop is there's tons of space. Yes. I mean, for a busy highway off of 95, I mean, there was still space even late last night. Right which a lot of these actually fill up. 
Yeah, and you we know, actually were able to get a nice end spot, which we always look for. Here's a good example of what we try to do is find an end spot. And Sheree actually parked where there's no parking uh, here, but we felt like this was a better option because there's really no room behind the RV. It's actually kind of a short truck spot. Trucks at the very tip right there and the RV goes right back to the end. I could have pulled up, she could have squeezed behind. This is just the option that we did right here. But what we do is we get this extra space when there's no parking so we can pop out uh, the big slide right here and let us know what you think about popping out slides in a rest area. We have seen some people say you shouldn't and I, you know, we rolled up in here and there were piles and piles of RVs with their slides out. There's no rule against it. And as you can see, this spot right here parks way, way over. So there was plenty of room to pop out both the kitchen slide and the bedroom slide right here. So this is not a Walmart parking lot where we really try to not use slides or maybe one slide if you have to. But here, you know, there isn't anything saying you can't have the conveniences uh, when you're stopping and resting overnight. And a lot of the larger rest stops have security 24 hours a day. So there's a little bit more of a sense of uh, that's a safe place to be. And it, unlike a regular RV park where you have to stop your generator at say 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, you could conceivably run it all night and I know some of you might disagree with that, but think about the trucks that you're parked next to, they're running their engines all night long. And I think that gives you uh, the freedom to run your generator all night long if you wanted to. Yeah, you get the free pass, because <laughs> it is. They do run their trucks and their generators or whatever all night long. And so it would really mask any kind of sounds that your generator would make. Right, and we actually don't run a generator all night long. We run a fan operated by a, a portable battery, battery yep. pack yep. that helps to drown out some of that noise. Yep. And most rest areas have uh, usually clean restrooms. They have fresh water available, trash receptacles. Although we disagree on how you can use the garbage here. Right, don't dump like uh, a gobs of household trash that you've been collecting for days. But I think whatever you, you generate it overnight, I think it's safe to stick into a small plastic bag and stick it in there. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I think that's okay. Well, let us know what your thoughts are on that. I think it's okay to throw like a cup away or a wrapper away. You know, it's like passing through, but I think if you generate a, a small bag, I don't, I don't know. I feel like that's crossing a line. Right, well, consider uh, who pays for the rest areas, uh, right? That's a good point. It's our tax dollars right? at work. We all yep. pay taxes. That's a good point. Uh, even if you don't pay income taxes, you're still paying taxes uh, in some way, shape, or form. And even some uh, rest stops will actually have a dump station, Wi-Fi, uh, tourist information. This one has like a whole touristy area here. Hey look, I found an old friend. What's up? It's Forrest Gump. Bubba Gump shrimp. Yeah, so you can get to know what the local area is like. So what are the cons of staying at a rest area? Well, I think we've already kind of mentioned it, how loud it can be. It can be pretty noisy. And uh, this one was exceptionally quiet. Mm -hmm. Did not have to even use earplugs last night. Nope. But that's something you'll want to consider having. Yeah, security could be lacking at some of the smaller rest areas. I guess the same rule applies that if an area doesn't feel safe, then just move on. If you get a bad vibe, uh, definitely keep rolling on. Also, some of them do get closed for maintenance or even closed for lack of funding. So don't be surprised if you show up planning to stay somewhere and you actually can't even get in. Right, so how do we find rest areas to stop at? I use my favorite RV app. Which is Al what? The Allstage <laughs> app, of course. 
You can look far out, hundreds of miles in advance if you want to, to scout out different rest areas. So what has been your experience overnighting in a rest area? Yes, let us know in the comments below. We want to hear your experiences. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to share it with your RV friends. And if you're brand new to the channel, again, hit that subscribe button. And ring that little bell. That way you'll be notified when we release a brand new video. And hit that join button down below for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Guess where we're going? Florida. We're going south. Yeah. yeah. I just had to take my sweater off. Are, I you, got... are you happy? Yes. <laughs> beach Tribe is happy. Beach Tribe, woo woo! <laughs> Get one of those Beach Tribe shirts. Can you just like imagine this is like all white sand? No. Like beach? No. You can't? No. <laughs> Time to go. I have not seen one that big before. Did they get that big? <laughs> He flew around the corner. Holy <laughs> shit. Tell, me, right. tell me you had audio on that. No. <laughs> Shree loves bugs. Look at Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy. This is such a thing. Look how many people miss the turn. Default to the right and they go in the truck in RV parking. It's a psychological thing. They default to the right. Always. They default to the right. When you're in long lines and there's several lines, always go left because everybody goes right. Right. That's that's so funny. And that's what they're doing here. They keep going right and they end up in <laughs> truck parking or RV parking. Right. <laughs> long vehicle parking. Long vehicle parking. Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh boy. Oh jeez. So <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, now that's a load. That's a load. <laughs> <laughs> she looked very excited to wave. Did you notice that? She was like. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, really? So sh <laughs> No, they're not. Oh. <laughs> Do you ever get these moments where you're like parked in like a semi private area, then someone comes and parks really close to you? Many someones. <laughs> yeah. Many someone's. There's a huge wide open parking lot. They come and, and then they come and crunch right up next right to you. Here. Well, we gotta show that picture. <sighs> Literally where there's no parking. Right. <laughs> and they parked right there. Yeah. Shall we roll? It's Florida or bust. Our next video right this here. Is I it was right here. <laughs> you can actually put it on either side. <laughs>